Vlogs, welcome back. How everybody doing? Welcome back to another video, another day. What's up, Apollo? But today is not gonna be about him. It's gonna be about them. You guys are new to our channel. Please subscribe. Good energy, good information, positivity. Let's get this video started, man. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys my crayfish or crawfish, crawdads, whatever you want to call them. My little setup right here. Got these guys. Look at them. Beautiful, no? Yeah, man. Originally, I started out with like maybe 40, 50, but from the lack of information, a lot of them died the first couple days. And what I did was I had to do some research and talk to some people who are familiar with breeding and raising crawfish. These are my, you see that mar, mar, marbleds? I got two of them, no three, one of them died. This one right here. Very beautiful creatures, man. And you know, I, I tell you guys about molten, right? One of them just uh, molted the other day. The shell came off, and I almost threw it away. I thought it was—I thought it had died, man. But when I did some research on it, I saw that just like snakes, right, shed their skins. The crayfish also shed, shed their shells and they get rid of the old shell and produce a new one. So for anyone who's new to breeding crayfish and get word that the crayfish died, it's not that, it's just the shell. I think when I think they didn't die though, but I'm gonna have to keep an eye on them, man. But my question for you guys is for those who, for those who, um, who breed crayfish, how often do you, how often do you feed them? Like, do you feed them um, every day, twice a day, once a week? I've been giving them this cray food, but I normally give like twenty to thirty um, pieces of cray cray food per day. And as you can see, the water does get you know bad you know dirty quick but it's not smelling it, it's just dirty you know what i'm saying and we normally clean our tank probably once twice a month you know but if you knew the if you knew the breeding cray, crayfish and raising them you need to get you a good air filter the the air stones are good but this is gonna help Keep your water clean, you feel me? Yeah, man. We had them upstairs in our little um, fishing pond, but they was dying more quicker for some reason. They was dying faster than they are in here. And I, I've i been putting rocks in little hiding places for them so that they can protect themselves from each other. You're gonna need that because they will fight and, fight and kill each other for real, man. I've noticed that. Also, I have a question for you guys, man. If the claw, if the claw is, um, if they lose a claw, right, from fighting, how long does it take for the claw to grow back? Will it grow back or is, is that permanent? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm asking you guys. I just figured out, like, I'm still trying to figure out which one is the female and male. I think the Marbleds are all females. I heard they can clone themselves, but the guy who I bought it from said that there's male and female um, Marbled crawfish or crayfish. They call them cray crayfish over here in the Philippines. In the U.S., we call them crawfish. But uh, the crazy part is, you know, we 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 cooked. I sacrificed like three last week. And I feel bad, man. They was kind of big, but um, we sacrificed three of them. 
and they taste kind of like shrimp. I had some in the U.S., but I was trying to see, are they the same? These are kind of different than the ones we got in the U.S., like from Louisiana. I'm from Mississippi. We don't really have crawfish. Yep, yeah, yeah, we do. We have them, like, seasonal, but not like Louisiana. But these taste good, though. Yeah, these, these are good. How long do it take for them to get, like, big to the full size? Somebody drop a comment and let me know, man. Yeah. I won't kill no more, though. I'm just wait till they get full, full grown, and I'm going to try to see if, uh, if they're going to have some babies or not, man. I don't know how you even breed them. I got to do more videos on more updates, but I've had these now for like a month. And so far, since they got more hiding places, they've been surviving, you know? Thank God for that, man. I got some little ones too. I don't know if, if I don't even know which ones are the females and males. I heard the females got smaller, smaller claw, claws than the um, males. And I try to grab one, I got pinched. I got bit by one uh, a couple of weeks ago, man. That, that jump felt like a dog on. It felt like my dog bit me, man. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, like I said, guys, I'm, I'm gonna be doing more research and I'm gonna keep you guys updated. If y'all wanna follow this journey with these crawfish, man, y'all just subscribe to our channel, man, and stay updated, man, because. You know, um, it's a really lucrative business, man, and they're cheaper over here from what I would pay for them in the U.S. And like I said, man, it's always good to have a hobby, man, to keep your mind occupied. Keep your mind occupied. Where you going, bro? Huh? About that time? About that time already? Huh? What you been doing? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man, my, my bro here, you know, visiting on vacation, man. But like I say, I added some of this too, some deal weed. So you guys can check that out. The deal weed seem to be helping. Also, I think giving them more oxygen. My fish pond upstairs, they've been surviving more also longer since I put the deal weed in there. But your water, your water gonna become dirtier faster. It was not dirty, it just looked like it, you feel me, because the green color. But to be honest, it's a big help. So I heard that the fish can eat the deer weed and they give them oxygen also as well, man. But if I'm wrong, y'all let me know. Also, this the um this the afflux that we use. If you guys want to take a picture of it, you can see it. This the afflux right here. Yeah, aquarium top filter, infinity. This, this is really good, man, really good. Anyway, I don't want to keep this video long. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys our setup. And I'm gonna keep you guys updated probably like every week, guys. We're on the progress of the crayfish. And uh, when I learn more information, I'm gonna, you know, put you guys in game as well. And I pray you do the same. So please subscribe. And y'all stay blessed out there, man. Take care of yourself. Even if you gotta put some, you know, buy you some plants. Buy you some plants. Or some pets or something, man. Just to keep your mind off of the negativity that's going on in this world. We just had two mass shooting in the U.S. My condolences to the families, man. But you gotta, you know, you have to examine life, you know. Find, find what makes you happy. God is not, you know, God doesn't have to give. God is not, it's not God's job to make us happy, you know? It's our job to try, try to find what brings us peace, you know what I'm saying? What brings us joy in life, you know? Don't look left and right, just do your thing. And this right here, guys, to be honest, this is so cool, so relaxing, so peaceful, just coming out here every morning, feeding these, you know, beautiful creatures. They've been around for millions of years, you know what I'm saying? They so, they so chill, the water, it's so relaxing, man, you know what I'm saying? And I watched the news and get me depressed and get me anxious and just angry and sad. And I come out here, man, and this right here helped me, you know what I'm saying, take my mind off the chaos. And these dogs too, man, these dogs. We got some puppies too for you bully breeders and dog lovers. I'm going to do a video on that also as well. And I got some dog on, um, 
I've been growing some peppers, I mean some uh, tomato plants, man. I just started growing tomatoes, and uh, it's like after one week, one and a half weeks, man. I'm excited about this, about this year coming up soon, this harvest, man. I'm keep y'all guys updated on that also, man, but just do something to find peace, you know what I'm saying? Tranquility, man, and uh, y'all stay blessed out there and keep elevating each other, man. You feel me? Keep networking, putting each other on game. Hope this video brings somebody some peace, man. You feel me? And uh, y'all stay blessed out there. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. God bless you guys. Till next time. Dogs and vlogs, huh?